hello guys uh, thanks for watching our channel and uh, today i'll show you the faculty and how it looks and the student coming let me change the camera so as you can see these buildings they are constructing around the campus and uh, these are for the students so when the student takes the admission they can apply to stay over here it will be around uh, 200 euros per month and uh, you have to pay also the bills which are extra you can see this is the parking students who like in india we don't have the concept but over here the students come with the car and uh, this is the first building uh, this is the faculty of arts and next to it is the faculty of medicine i'll just show you so you can see it's not like india like you have a good infrastructure or a huge building let me show you from the other side you can see the another building that is under renovation is the faculty of medicine so this is the name of the university again the parking so as you can see they are renovating the building they are trying to make more rooms more labs and more classes because the number of students have increased year by year so here you have to take classes from the first year to the third year and at the ground floor they have the labs which you practice on the caliber dissection when you have the anatomy classes this is the entrance of the faculty of literature so you can see this is the office area and the announcement is put on here These are the heaters for the winter. So, uh, as I showed you, that was the faculty of arts. I couldn't show you the classrooms because it's closed. All the classes are taking online. Let me try in the faculty of medicine. So this is the entrance. So this is the lift. So this is the faculty of medicine. You can see the, all the classes are taking place here. At the moment the doors are closed so I cannot go inside. You can see there the classrooms. Generally it has a capacity of 200 students, so they can take the lectures all together. These are the toilets. You can see it's renovating at the moment, and all the classrooms are closed. For the water, you can take the water from there. 
so those rooms are for the histology lab at the moment is closed this is the ground floor and you have to take the stairs from there and this is the portion for anatomy you can see all, all the anatomy labs are over here so you can see here is uh, the histology department and here is the notifications so you can see it's written in English Let me show you uh, the hospital. It's the state hospital in which you have your classes. I'll just show you in a minute. So, so you can see here the cars are parked. Because it's hardly any space for the cars to park near the hospital. So you can see here, this is the parking of the hospital, the multi-level parking, and all the taxis are parked. see the hospital this is the entrance the ambulance here's a small park near the hospital you can see the building this is the hospital you have all the specialties over here This is the back side of the hospital where we went to the parking. So I can see this is the other building of the OBDS. And here all the administrative work takes place. The rector of the university also has an office over here and uh, all the admissions take place over here. When you finish your diploma you have to take it from here. So before uh, the graduation ceremony used to take place over here, but uh, year by year the number of students increased. So from now it doesn't take place here, they have a special theater and it takes place there. So you can see this is the entrance, all the parking over here. So uh, in the last video I received many queries from you guys and thank you for watching the video. So one of the question was if I had to choose the, the faculty, which faculty was the best one. So uh, in my opinion the faculty in the capital like in Bucharest is the best one but still you can apply over here in Constanza. Uh, the education quality is more better in the capital as you can compare also in India in the major cities is much better and uh, I'll, uh, but it also depends on the budget of the student like if he can uh, spend more amount of money because obviously in the capital the universities are more expensive we have to pay around 6000 euros per year and in Constanza is 5000 euros per year and you have to calculate also the rent and the monthly expenses uh, and the second uh, question was like uh, when the admission will take place so mostly it takes place in the summer in June or July but at the moment due to COVID everything is closed uh, the third question was like uh, whether to choose between Romania or other countries so I had a few friends who took admission in Nepal 
So only the thing is the main difference is the duration of the year. Like uh, in Romania, the duration of the course is six years. Okay, it's in English, but in uh, Nepal, I suppose it's four and a half years, same as of India, and plus one year of internship. So that internship you can do in your uh, country, like in India, you can go there and you can do your internship. There is no need to stay in Nepal. If you like, you can do it over there also. But in Romania, you cannot uh, divide the course like four and a half years plus one year. Here, all six years it has to be done and completed over in Romania, and uh, it's a course with internship. But uh, in my case, I can I cleared this FMG exam, and that time I had to stay one more year in India to complete my internship. So to, in total, I had to my MBBS duration lasted seven years. So that's why okay the education was okay some of you asked me whether i like it or i don't like it was okay but if i see the duration it was too long if you compare with uh, nepal or india like you can do the same course and especially the internship if you do in india or in nepal i suppose it's paid but over here you don't get any money so you have to calculate all the expense the other query was like whether someone uh, does his medicine from romania so can he practice all over the world so the answer is no because uh, every country has its rules and regulations the same as for india you cannot go all over the world with the indian diploma or indian degree you have to clear the exams the language exams like for america usmle for australia they have other exams for only i've heard like from, from a few of my friends they have gone to germany but still you need to learn the language there is a one small exam but still uh, it's not like you just uh, move, you want to move over there and you can travel tomorrow. So for non-Europeans always there is a case of visa, the admissions. So it's not so easy even if you complete your diploma from here. The other question was whether the doctors are paid well in Romania. So till now the salaries were too low like it's the Eastern European countries as you know we cannot compare with London or Germany. So till now the salary was uh, 100 or 200 dollars. But recently they have increased the salary to 1000 euros. But still you cannot save all 1000 euro because you have to pay the rent, the expenses, the cars, expense. So I hardly are left with anything. So it's like uh, you get the salary and you spend almost everything. So, so you cannot say that, that the doctors are so rich if you compare to London, Germany or America. So if you are thinking about money, as, or you are thinking like if you complete the course and you will get a job and you learn more money so it's not like that then you should choose some other country the other query was uh, regarding the part-time jobs so there are a few restrictions like we cannot uh, work on the student visa you need to change your visa to the work visa uh, secondly the salaries are too low over here and uh, uh, like in London, you, if you work there, you can take out your expense for tuition fees and everything. But over in Romania, you cannot take out, like you cannot collect 5,000 or 6,000 euros to pay the fees. You can just pay your rent, I suppose, maximum. And I didn't even care about it because I used to studies and I didn't have time for work. And especially your classes, it depends. Sometimes you have in the evening, 5 to 7 or it's maximum till 8, 8 p.m. So you never know when they change your classes. So it's very hard to do a part-time job. So this was the university and that the you can see the building over there. So these are the hostels, but mostly these are for the Romanian students and the foreigners, they need to stay in the apartments. Let me show you. So in this building, uh, these are all the hostels and these are for the Romanian students. It's very hard for a foreigner to get a place. Thank you for watching. And, and uh, you can write more in the comments and I'll try to answer all your queries. Hope you like the video. Thank you. Bye -bye. Do subscribe our channel.